Hey, what's happening everybody? It's another Adrian's Craft Beer Reviews where I try beer, let you know what it looks like, what it smells like, what it tastes like, what I think about it, just my opinion, and um, a movie that maybe you can drink it with, and uh, what I think about it on a scale from uh, 1 to 10. I forgot, I think, to do that once on my last video or something like that. But uh, today, I'm excited to do uh, a good, my favorite pale ale ever, and it's by... This brewery, Three Floyds, I decided to wear the shirt, you know, to represent, and it is Alpha King Pale Ale by Three Floyds Brewery, out in uh, Munster, Indiana. I've been there a bunch of times, I love it so very much, you have to get there like an hour early because it's so fucking packed. And you have to usually wait in line, so I like being first in line. And uh, usually Saturday is a good day to go. Uh, there's always this one guy, Bob. Every Saturday I've ever been there, he's always first in line. Two hours early. Goofy-ass motherfucker, but uh, he's cool to talk to. But yeah. So it, this is also coming in at 66 IBUs and 6.5 ABV. It's brewed with Centennial, Cascade, and Warrior Hops. So, let's get it open. And I know everybody uh, knows about Zombie Dust and Gumball Head, but I figured I'd start with their flagship... Well, I mean, I've had pretty much everything they have to offer. All their seasonals, all really good. I'm going up there this week, so um, I should be bringing back a whole bunch of new shit to review. So that should be good. So, yeah, let's get into the looks. And the looks are, it's a hazy, dark amber, delicious lookingness. Slight carbonation, head... Slight off-white, nice big bubbles on top, tight bubble, bubbles all around it, and uh, for smell, this is why I love this beer so much. Not only is it fresh all the time because it's only like an hour and a half away, but they are fucking hop maniacs. Everything is hop forward and everything is, you go there too, the music is fucking nuts and it's just heavy thrash black metal the food is not normal just like their beer all different kinds of crazy wild things to eat but yeah i'm tracking off a little bit yeah first smell you get you get a nice sweet toffee caramel maltiness from all that not malty bolts and uh you're totally getting a citrus bomb in the face with like a nice lemony uh, like peach, mango-y, slight dankiness, slight pininess in there, nice and tropical-y, which really goes well with all the other malts in there. Just all around good smelling beer. Let's get a taste. Love it. First part of that, you get that nice toffee, caramel, maltiness that is right at the beginning. And then you're getting like second of the mouth, you're getting that uh, citrus and that orange and that mango. It's popping out at you and it goes well too when you're drinking it because you can smell it and you dick your nose in there. Sounds like I said dick your nose in there, but dip your nose in there. And you're drinking it at the same time, so it's like all aroma and flavor hitting y'all, but super, super good. Like I said, you, you're getting a slight pine, mango, orange, citrus, balanced out with that nice toffee, caramely. It's just so well. It's my perfect pale ale so far. I mean, it's like borderlining on an IPA. I think that's probably why I like it the most. But 
all around awesome fucking beer. I can't wait to review other ones for you. The zombie does. The gumball head and some bombers. And for a movie, I picked um The Wackness. A lot a lot of people have seen it, but you should really go see it. It's if you if you grew up in the nineties, then fucking you will love this. And if you love hip hop and you just grew up Smoking weed, listening to hip hop, and fucking hanging out with your friends in the summer. It's got one of the Olsen twins in it. It's got Josh Beck. He's from it's like an old Disney. He was really fat, now he's super skinny. It's got Method Man in it. He's a drug dealer, but uh, it's about a kid who's drug dealing on the streets in the summertime, and he involves a psychiatrist in it, which is a wild guy. It's fucking definitely a good movie. You should check it out. And for rating for this beer. I give it an easy fucking 10. Easy. Easy, easy fucking 10, everybody. Yeah, so you should go out and try it and look for it. It is Alpha King's Pale Ale by Three Floyds. If you don't drink craft beer, you should really get into it because it's awesome and it makes the world go around. Plur, everybody. Peace, love, unity, respect, and out.